Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Star Tropics. So we have a little adventure to go on this time. We're looking for Dr. J. Now a good chunk of this chapter happens, um, yeah there it is, happens outside in the vast ocean. There's a few places we can stop, like this place. Full of really old people. This person's 199 years old! Yeah! Either, um... How do you do cola? You're a game master. Post poem. Alrighty. 177! Oh yeah? No, no, Dr. J's. No, I don't know. Everybody here is senile. Great, we're near in senile cola. Let's have bananas in your ears, yeah. Alright, we already talked to you. <laughs> Who's the old one now? Alright, so there is a big heart around here. Um, I feel like there's a good chance I'm not going to end up getting it on camera, but I'll try. So the entire crux of this chapter is that it is a maze. Well, at least this portion of it. Um, there is combat in this chapter, but the, the primary part of this chapter is actually just this outdoor maze. Now, if we go and talk to Navcom, uh, which I think we can do... No, that's not it. I thought there was a way... Hmm. I thought there was a way to actually get back to uh, the inside the ship screen. There might be. But I think that is actually where our big heart is. Uh, but I know when you get back inside the submarine, he'll give you... Some more information, I'll give you actual coordinates of where uh, Dr. J is. However, they're really not helpful. Um, and that is because primarily you're not going directly to it. Like, you can't just go, oh, a big apple. Got a big apple. Not a damn thing happens. Yeah, like here he'll say. Signal detected, North 25, East 59. Uh, there's no way we can actually just go North 25, East 59. So, uh, those directions are for the most part pretty useless until a very specific point. I think this is where the big heart is. Should be able to land here, right? Yeah. Hope this is the big heart. Yes, it is, okay. And I think there's only one here. And we're gonna get a very long refresh sequence. And now we're up to, um, I believe, 11 hearts. Oh wait, no, there's 11 on the top row, isn't there? Is there? Am I crazy? Hold on a second. Yeah, that is weird. There are 11 in the top row. I guess 22 is the max. Um, we never get 22 full heart containers permanently. We will temporarily at one point, though. Alright, back out into the, the open ocean here. Let's see, we'll stop at this shack here. Who lives here? Hello, friends. Oh. Rob Crucicola. Yup. Yep, yep, that joke just happened. Unfortunately, every time we get back in the ship, we have to talk to Navcom. I'd be curious to see a max point run of Star Tropics. Like, I wonder if anybody's ever figured that out, how to get the absolute maximum point totals. Can we go through one of these? No. I'm sure someone has at some point. Now, here's an island we can get off on, but I don't think there's anything here. Oh, I see the whirlpool now. I don't know why I didn't see that before. 
The game is a little finicky about showing those. Um, it's quite possible that wasn't there until we landed on that island. No, there's no way. There it is. All right. Now this one is kind of a little tricky puzzle thing here. I think these always connect back and forth to the same locations. So it must be this one, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Now, we have quite a few different places we can go here. I don't think it's as easy as just going to this one, but I'll try it. And they do always connect um, in a straight line, too. So you can kinda, if you, if you know the locations of them, you can kinda figure out which is which. Oh, this just connects to where we were. Okay, so it's gotta be one of these. Uh, let's try this one. Does this one go like way? I don't know, it doesn't. I was hoping it would go north. I don't think we're actually that far from the end of this either. Um, it is... I don't want to say it's straightforward, but it's not as confusing, I think, as it initially seems. Anything here? Nothing here. We haven't already been here, have we? No, I don't think so. Navcom will give us some more useless directions. Alert! Now, I definitely never made it to this part of the game as a kid, um, and if I had, I probably would have given up, to be honest. Directions have never been my strong suit. Um, yeah, yeah, this is the one I was thinking about. He's my GPS for everything in the car. Ah, here we go. So, signal detected, north 20, east 11. Now, as we get closer and closer, um, Navcom will continue to give us more information. Uh, I just want to check real quick, make sure there's nowhere to land here. There's not another big heart I'm missing. Uh, I think there has to be... Oh, there it is. There we go. North 5, east 6, alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a huge hole there. Well, let's go underwater. Now, this is actually a really cool little spot here. Uh, this is actually the first time you ever see underwater. Um, however, it'll also be the last time you ever see underwater. In fact, if I remember correctly, this is the last time we'll ever be in subsea. So, say goodbye to Subsea. It is no longer going to be part of the game. And it is very dark down here. And we emerge out into these ruins here. Perhaps the ruins that Dr. J was talking about. Some creepy statues. And... Our combat segment. So, this is the dungeon for Chapter 6. Uh, and this is kind of where my memories of the dungeons is pretty weak. Uh, I kind of remember the final dungeon because it is a little obnoxious. But I don't really remember this one much. So we'll see how that goes. But we do get a cool new item here. This is the anklet. The anklet lets you jump two tiles. Hearts if we needed them, basically if we didn't pick up the uh, big heart. But yeah, so the, the angle lets you jump um, two tiles distance. There's actually a dirty trick here though, because it only lasts for one room. So if you came in here and were like, oh no, I have to get away from the mummies, let me jump across the water, uh, you would instantly die. Which is kind of a dirty trick. Now, I need to be careful, because I think one more hit from the mummies is going to take away my shooting star. Um, and Doing this without the shooting star would be unpleasant. I think we get the ankle again in here. You actually fire slightly further when you jump, I've noticed also. So this place is kind of a maze. Um, I'm trying to remember. 
think the way through is actually this way. Making use of the, uh, the anklet. Now, you don't always jump the extra tile. Uh, this is a dead end, actually, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, I can't go... I obviously can't jump diagonally. I can jump here, though. And here... Let me think about this. I want to go down this way, I think? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Cross. Nice. Hey, that's the second time I solved a maze this video. Now, this is a nasty place. I don't think you can reach from here. Those are obviously submersible tiles, and we have this conga line of mummies here. Uh, there's two ways to handle this. You can just jump infinitely on the tile and try to kill them that way, or you can hop into the conga line, which is what I'm going to do here. But you do have to be careful, because there are, um... Uh, whatchamacallits. But I can just sit in here and do this. Uh, there are tiles, so you can't just walk around, basically. If you want to do it the, uh... The intense way, you can just hop on that tile indefinitely. Now, there's actually a secret here. There we go. I believe there's another one? Yeah. And there's the medicine. There's actually a few of those in the game, and I'm pretty sure there's ones I missed. And we have this uh, Nautilus here on land. Not how that works. They're pretty hardy. And we have a boss! Now I think there's a tile here. Yeah. Um, I seem to recall, though, that jumping on those further platforms is not really beneficial. Uh, and it is better off, you're just better off just waiting here. Um, because you can't really hit him on those anyway. I do want to be careful though, because if I lose my... Ah, that's what I didn't want to happen. Uh, also, if I lose my shooting star, I'm going to kind of be in trouble. One more hit will do. There we go. Fortunately, he doesn't have a lot of health though. And I don't believe there's any items here. But pretty easy boss, pretty easy level, right? Well, about that. We're not quite done yet. That's right, there is more. I'll continue a little bit here. See how far we can get in this part of the dungeon. I feel like there's something in this room. There we get the light switch. Oh, okay. I got it. So if I look up, I bet there's a passageway here. And it's gonna be dark again, but I can actually hit the light switch. Nice. All right, that's actually a really cool touch. We got some hearts here. Appreciate it. It always makes me, ooh. Oh, this is, uh, the baseball. Baseball, um, I believe it does really high damage. Where are we going from here, though, is the question. I can't... Let me think about this. I can't go... What am I missing here? Okay, there is, there is a way down here. Ah, alright. So that must stay, because there's no way we could do it otherwise. I wonder, uh, do those treasures actually respawn? Because if so, um... Oh, definitely pick up another set of hearts. No, they don't respawn. So the baseballs, I believe, do they go full distance? Yeah. I believe they're also high damage. We also have this item, which are the cleats! Which make us do this crazy flying kick to everything in the room. I won't insta-kill all enemies, but it does do a fair amount of damage. Pretty sweet. Actually, I probably should use the baseball here just to kind of play around with it and show it off. Now, there must be an 
ankled around here somewhere. Oh, I guess it doesn't go full screen. It goes pretty far, though. Oh, and it's actually... They're immune to that? Huh. I didn't know that. Oh, I'm taking a ton of damage. I'm actually down to... Oh, boy. I'm down to yo-yo time here. Uh, I definitely don't want to die. That would very much defeat the purpose of having a medicine. It does get... Oh, goodness. You know what? Let's just use the medicine here. Uh, it does get a little dicey when you have to dodge that many of those things. I believe we have to destroy all the Nautiluses to continue here. Man. It doesn't seem like it would be that difficult, but there's that many flying around. And you're not exactly the most agile uh, character on the planet, either. I would like to get those two hearts. Nice. Yeah, it's weird about the baseball. I don't know what's up with that. Alright. Let's use some cleat action here now. It actually won't insta-kill them, but we can use it a few times. Nice. Um, then I guess we'll just finish off with the baseball. Oh, you can't though. What is the deal with the baseball then? I don't think there are actually any hidden tiles in here, and if there are, I'm not jumping on every single one. Yeah, I wonder what the deal with the baseball is. Oh, back down to Yo-Yo again. That's not good. I think we would be at a checkpoint here, though. Oh! Okay, don't touch him. Uh, touching him insta-kills you. <laughs> That's the boss of this area. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad news. Yeah, killing these with the yo-yo is painful. Uh, if I have to make a jump cut here to heal up and such, I will, but I think I'll be okay. Um, I am kind of bummed out about the loss of the medicine, though. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have hit the door switch first, actually. Now, I believe that boss actually does fire at us as well, but he's also basically just a, uh, a time check. We have a limited amount of time to defeat him before he um, crowds you out. Yeah, maybe he is uh, vulnerable to the baseballs, and that's what these are for. Because they sure as hell don't work on anything else. Uh, there wasn't anything down there. I am still on the yo-yo, unfortunately. But we can do this. It's always nice. In fact, I might uh, do that for this place as well. Wow, it actually doesn't kill them. Oh my god. That was like no damage to them. Waiting for the uh, fireballs here, basically. Oh, that one's gonna hit me. Yep. The anklet is up here. Oh! Hmm. I'll right, try this one more time, and then if not, I'll just uh, cut to the boss. Again, the unfortunate portion of not having the shooting star and only having um, three hearts when you lose a life is uh, it's kinda brutal. Now, I'm lucky because I got enough stars in that I will be able to get six here. This will give me two hearts, and then um, that'll give me the shooting star. It's gonna be a matter of not losing it. I also like this puzzle. Um, just the fact of, you know, you can see, you know, one of the doors is obvious and the others you have to figure out. I think it's kind of nice. I wanna make sure I don't get hit in this room. We'll just do this. I think it's a pretty cool introduction to the uh, the cleats as well. And I think I want to actually get. Ooh, your hitbox is actually your feet, if I'm remembering correctly. 
I am gonna hit, get hit here, I think. No, maybe not. I stand corrected. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> don't don't jump into the water like that, though. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna jump cut here because I just hit a game over. So I will be back in a moment at the boss. All right, here we are back at the boss. I have full health and a medicine. I'm gonna try the baseballs. I'm not entirely sure if they work. I'm also gonna not let this guy insta kill me. He should come off the wall. Yeah, there we go. He is, uh, vulnerable to the baseballs, and he's shooting, like, these stone snakes at me. He does a lot of damage, too. Uh, I don't know if he takes extra damage from them, but try. Uh, he has this, kind of this pattern. Oh, wow, yeah. He must take a lot of extra damage. <laughs> those eyeballs, too. He must take a lot of extra damage from the baseballs. Uh, basically, if he touches you, he already crushes you, uh, and then it is game over. We've done it! And we'll explore the rest of this cave next time, because we've got some, uh, some actual plot coming up. So, I'll return tomorrow with more. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon.